Ash vs. Evil Dead, Season 1, Episode 4, Thoughts. This episode is called Brujo. Another episode I love. Spoils for everything Evil Dead franchise leading up to and including this episode throughout this video. Let's dive right in. So, yeah. Lucy Lawless rescues Amanda and the the yeah we get some yeah some some details and <laughs> drive miss daisy and yeah very cool when the the evil dead spirits you know come for the car and and have some influence over the car you know, it's that's one of the, f yeah, it's it's basically the first thing we see them do in the very first Evil Dead movie, and yeah, it's, I mean, it is quite terrifying. It's not as like the the body horror comes later in that movie, but yeah, the idea of losing control of your car and you know, I mean, they almost crash into that other car. That is legitimately very scary and extremely relatable. You know, no one can really completely avoid being in a car in modern society. So, yeah, quite appreciate them getting some out of that. And, yeah, the thing, you know, so have you tested this nitrous thing? Not yet. <laughs> wow. And, yeah, um... I 100% believe that Ash, like, watched a Fast and Furious movie, and the thing he took away from it was, oh, that nitrous thing is really cool. And, you know, rather than, like, family. And, yeah, the, you know, Brujo has, has put up all these things to to block the, the spirit's very nicely done, but of course, Eligos has already, you know, already has some influence over Kelly and slowly taking over. And we get some Evil Dead 2 references, so that is indeed canon, you know, and apparently Lucy Lawless' character believes that Ash killed some of the people that were you know, yeah, for example, thinks that, you know, she says, you killed my sister, um, crap, what was her, uh, yeah, yeah, the, you know, and the, the, um, yeah, that is obviously, that's, that's what it's gonna look like if you weren't there and you didn't watch the movies, which, fair enough, in this, un in the universe of the movies, obviously the movies themselves don't exist, and <laughs> enjoy Brujo berating Ash. You're slow. You're old. You lost your step. You just you know. And he's like, okay, okay. We get. I, I get it. Just and and yeah. There's the thing about you know. A lot of people underestimate you at first, but eventually they end up in my bed or dead, and occasionally both. First one, then the other. And, yeah, he's going to go on a, a trip, and this definitely does feel like, you know, yeah, um, the kind of thing that Sam Raimi would come up with for the, the Evil Dead franchise, and, yeah, wasn't able to for, for the movies, in part for, like, pacing and how much screen time, uh, running time and such. And... So Lucy Lawless has the hand that that Ash had to cut off, and it started twitching. You know, for thirty years it's been still, but then it started twitching. Does that mean that she's kept it like on her for thirty years? How does she watch it when she's sleeping? Does she pay someone to watch it? I don't think I want to know the answers to these questions. I'm just thinking out loud, and. Yeah, you know, very clever, you know, the hand wants to get back to Ash, so they can use that to find him. 
And I like Brujo explains, you know, the uh, ayahuasca, and then Ash is like, okay, maybe half a cup then. And yeah, he starts hallucinating, and yeah, um, Sam Raimi likes to do stuff with eyeballs, and I appreciate because it, it is like a visceral, like just ugh, seeing seeing the eye inside Brujo's mouth. And then he bites down and is ugh, disgusting. Just absolutely love it. You know, there's some stuff in uh, Drag Me to Hell as well. And yeah, we see some, a bunch of like opening theme, like there's some, there's Charlie's Angels. And I want to say, was that? I dream of genie. I don't think I've ever seen the animated intro before, but I mean, it, it certainly looked. I've I've seen a couple of pictures from the live action show that did look like genie, and that yeah, and you know, there's a bunch of Playboy magazines, and yeah, his eyes are sewn shut, and just again, ugh, one of the most just. Yeah, it's it's really really disturbed, and yeah, he his his the the place where he feels completely at peace is Jacksonville, Florida. Honestly, yeah, I can completely buy that about him, and and yeah, you know, he wanted to go there, but then he went to the cabin instead, and yeah. And, and yeah, two hands, I need two beers. <laughs> I mean, what else are hands for? And then we have the, uh, yeah, I, I quite like um, Pablo building the, the robot hand. And the two of them joke about hair dye. And, and he's like, did you see the, the pillow? It's like his head is nothing but coal or ash. So he's finally living up to his name, and yeah, we it becomes clear that Kelly is indeed possessed by Ellie Goss, and you know once again fantastic performance by Ben Fransham as the physical form of Ellie Goss and Jared Turner as the voice, and yeah. Love when the, the evil dead are subtle. Uh, you know, sometimes they're very subtle in how they attack. And yeah, you know, she just, she, she comes out and you know, says, Okay, Pablo, how can I help? And yeah, you know, he hands her the very instrument of his destruction. And yeah, you know, if you, yeah, it's not difficult to, to the, the, create that kind of, of electric shock. If, yeah. And, Really enjoyed um, Eli speaking. Um, I'm not seeing a name for who voices Eli, but that was that was a lot of fun. And these little details are like um, you're not gonna tell anyone about the things that I do when it's just you and I in the trailer, are you? And the the uh, yeah, just the the lips on it. I I love that. It is this, like, I mean, they essentially just CGI'd human lips directly onto the, the, uh, the lizard. Yeah, that was, like, yeah, of, of all the ways you could go with that. Just, like, it's, I've seen, like, YouTube videos <laughs> that do that thing that just, like, put human lips onto something that does that should not have human lips. You know, they don't try to, like, completely redesign the, the lizards, you know, the, as Amer Amazing Spider-Man 2, yeah, Amazing Spider-Man 1, rather, you know, Andrew Garfield, the first Andrew Garfield Spider-Man movie, that also has a, a lizard that can talk, but they actually change the, you know, so that it, it feels like, okay, that is what it would look like if a lizard could form words, but here, they just, no, just slap it on, that's, yeah. Very in the spirit of of Sam Raimi films, and yeah, the the trip starts going bad with 
because of Aligos. That's also some really great stuff there. And yeah, at one point he's like inside one of the glass jars from, Lion, you know, yeah, Lionel Hawkins bookstore. And little Lori is back. You know, little Lori gonna watch you die. <laughs> Just, oh my god. And really glad that they found a way to, to bring her back. And, you know, I, I think it's Eli who's like, this is, you know, this is still your trip. You control it. That's right. And he, you know, uses the force to, to pull the, the doll over and like squishes as the eyeball pops out. A lot of eye stuff in this episode. Love to see it. And, you know, he's, he's like force choking Eligos, which you know, in the real world, translates into he's choking Kelly. And I don't think we needed more scenes of, of like, men physically abusing women, but at least they're not, like, acting... Like, it is positioned as a bad thing. They're not acting like, oh, well, you know, if, he, if this man had not abused this woman, I mean, society would collapse. You know, maybe not immediately, maybe not... Today or tomorrow, but like eventually, you know. So, yeah, that's yeah. Some you have to go back several decades to to for it to be like frequent. I I don't watch all movies. There's probably, sadly, still at least some that that have it. So, uh, IMDb trivia for this episode. Brujo means male witch. Ash's hand went through a bunch of different versions. Initially supposed to be a cylinder. It looked magnified in the camera, so they had to go with the wrapped up in the cloth version. And... See. Oh, right, yeah. This episode marks the first time in Evil Dead franchise that the evil force that makes the hum sound as it moves is actually shown. Yeah, the like it kind of looked like a, a dust cloud or something, but yeah. Very cool. Yeah, that is, yeah, because all the other times it's been a POV shot, and this time we actually get to see what it looks like, because clearly Ash is running from something, driving away from something in those movies, so it's not just, you know, oh, the, you know, clearly there is something v visible to, to people. Yeah, in this episode, viewers find out Ruby is Ruby Noby, daughter of Professor Raymond Noby and his wife Henrietta, as well as sister to Annie, all characters who perished during the events of Evil Dead 2. And furthermore, Ruby is in possession of Ash's possessed hand from the same film. And... Let's see... The Brujo keeps repeating, Buena, Buena Medicina, Buena, Buena Luz. Divina, which translates as good, good medicine, good, good divine light. The rhyme is better in Spanish. The song that plays in this episode's credits is Free Your Mind and Your Ass Will Follow by Funkadelic. Despite not having eyes in his demon form, Eligaz's eyes are black during his possession of Kelly's body. Let's see... At about 19 minutes, Pablo remarks, Ash's pillow is black due to running hair dye. Some might be confused by the prospect of Pablo knowing de details about Ash's bedroom, but they may have overlooked the fact that Ash lives in an Airstream trailer with a sleeping area partitioned only by a curtain, and Pablo has been inside the trailer many times on screen, including during this very remark. When Ash wakes up at the beginning of the trip, he hears the exact same laughter that was in Evil Dead 2, later followed by some of the sentences Ash and Linda had in their conversation about being in a cavern. Such as, so what do you think, kid? I love it, Ash. I feel funny about being here, etc. Ash's hallucinations include visions of the opening of I Dream of Genie Flipper. It was a Flipper show? Oh, right. Sorry. I'm thinking of the, uh, crap. What's it called again? The, the, um, Free Willy. I was thinking of Free Willy. Honestly, that one might have gotten a show, too. Yeah. The original Charlie's Angel series, several issues of Playboy since from Real Dead 2, U.S. First Lady Reagan, female wrestling, and more. Yeah. At the beginning of Ash's trip, when Ash has his eyes sewn shut, some of the masked figures are wearing the same clothes as he is. Possessed Kelly has black contacts. All previous possessed persons had white contacts. 
And yeah, uh, really excited to see next episode. Uh, you know, I quite appreciate it's quite good um, cliffhanger ending with, you know, we don't know quite what, like clearly Kelly is still possessed by Eligos. We saw the, the eyes near the very end. We don't quite know exactly what effect it's had on Ash, who, let's be honest, was not the most stable person before. And let's see. When evil shows up, it blows up. Still working on the slogan. <laughs> I like um, Ash. You know, good. Check the old prostate while you're in there. Oh boy, that's an, that one's just a barrel of laughs, isn't he? <laughs> and and you know, Ash, you're adult. Is that good? And let's see. Yeah. Um, yes. Next episode, I will do Monday of next week, is at least the plan. Well, I gotta say, boss, I'm feeling a bunch of nada here. I mean, I had like three bagels for breakfast. Maybe the bread is soaking everything up. How about one more cup? Focus. The medicine can open your mind, but it can also destroy it, trapped in your own personal hell for eternity. Okay, so maybe half a cup. <laughs>